car, this car was bought, was bought by the city in 1924 and put into operation as a spare vehicle. So um, we had three three cars in Nelson. It was the smallest system in the British North British Empire. Uh, they renamed the cars at that point, 21, 22, and 23, to make it look like it was a bigger fleet. Um, so yeah, 1949, all the, all the cars went uh, into retirement. Uh, first two cars, 21, 22, became private summer homes or something. We have no idea where they are. 23 became a skater's warming hut up at Cottonwood Lake. In the early 50s, went out to Nasukan and became a car can uh, a kennel for dogs and cats, belonged to a vet. Um, and then in the 1982, um, they moved it and they offered it up to the city and the Chamber of Commerce took the, took the invitation and uh, started the restoration with the help of Selkirk College. I think it's the link to our history. So this ran for all those years. Right, and uh, the streetcars took people to their everyday work. Took them um, on celebration days. The stern wheelers would come to the the base of Hall Street. The cars would meet them there. Take them to festivities at the park. Um, took them to their everyday and their cel celebratory occasions. Um, I think that that was meaningful. The maintenance of this car is a year long endeavor. And so we have an amazing team of folks that work in the shop, and they are phenomenal. And uh, Charlie Bunce is, is uh, one of the lead guys. He's 95 years old, I think now. He worked on the streetcars as a young man when they were still operating. And um, so he's in there, and yesterday he was down underneath the car making sure that it, would, it works. Um, and so, the, and there's a number of guys. Um, as you can imagine, the parts are hard to, to find. You don't go to Canadian Tire or any other place to find the parts. So these guys, um, they source them out. Um, you know, they're very good at the internet to find other places or they build their own. And uh, they also work with Selkirk College. So Selkirk College students did a lot of the restoration of the car in the 1980s. Uh, the woodwork and, and such, um, and they're still part of it. So if they need a part, um, they go talk to them, and if, it, if they can do that, if it works in with their curriculum, then they, they build parts to keep this going. So that is amazing. So we need to raise $85,000, um, and a lot of that is work that's down at the mall, so the track was, um, underneath the track was, was wearing away. So um, they've done most of the work. We're just waiting for it to be paved now. Um, but yeah, it's a phenomenal expense that I don't think I was quite aware of when I first started. Um, but that, once again, is the work of, of, of the board and uh, the officers and the folks in the shop. They're doing that kind of work ongoing. I think, number one, thank you to the people of Nelson and the area who have donated to our organization. So both in money or in goods or time, um, thank you, because it is a community project, right? Um, I would encourage anybody who has a little bit of interest in either driving, operating, working in our shop, working in our museum, um, even if you don't think you've got any tangible skills, there's work that people can do. If you have the least little bit of interest, we'd be delighted to have you join us. So we run from May long weekend to Thanksgiving, uh, and we run seven days a week. I think it's an opportunity you couldn't, should not miss. Um, it, is, it is beautiful. It's only a two kilometer uh, route. It takes less than half an hour, um, but it is such a wonderful addition to your Nelson experience. Um, if you're on feet, on foot, um, you can come down to our car barn, which is located at the, um, between Lakeside Park and uh, the Plainfields. And uh, there's somebody here every Tuesday and Thursday morning, for sure, you can stop by. Um, in the summertime, when we're open, the museum's open every day as well, you can stop by. Um, we have a Facebook page, Nelson Electric Tramway Society. Well, the website is there too, and you can donate if you wanted to do that.